what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so i just saw us us is jordan peele's sophomore feature film everyone knows he did get out and came out in 2017 uh they got him an academy award it had a 100 percent going for it on rotten tomatoes at the time of its release and for a good period of time after its release uh but since then it's been knocked down to 98 percent i've just looked at that recently uh but us stars Lupita Nyong'o and Winston Lupita Nyong'o and Winston Dukes. Uh, you might be familiar with them from Black Panther. Uh, we also have Elizabeth Moss, Tim Heidecker, Evan Alex, and several others uh, that starred in this rather interesting movie. Uh, so right off the bat, I want to say this is not better than Get Out it was a more direct slasher film and uh more grounded in horror i want to say in get out but it also had a bit more comedy than get out did uh jordan peele did his thing here i want to say this was a very good uh follow-up to what you previously did the problem with us in, however is the fact that it does have a lot of plot holes uh the story though is very in it keeps you interested throughout the entire time there's never a single dull moment uh some of the dialogue that winston dukes is given and his character at times can become annoying but everyone across the board despite how annoying i found his character to be everyone across the board gave an amazing performance uh jordan peele did an amazing job directing this movie uh while the script was filled with a few holes regarding like some plot twists and the whole central concept of what the film actually was at the end uh I think everything else was just fine. The score, Michael Michael Ab Abdel, I think that's his name, or Michael Abel, I believe is Abdel. This man and his scores, because he, I believe he's only done the other only other movie he's done is Get Out. His scores are absolutely beautiful. The music in this movie, it's so good. Uh, the way it's lined up with each scene so perfectly, it's just very the the way this man like takes the score and he picks the right it seems like it feels like he's picking the right music to play during these scenes and it's just beautiful to see because i thought get out soundtrack was absolutely amazing but i think that uh the soundtrack for us is a little bit better that's just me personally I think the soundtrack in Us is a bit better. I think Michael Abdel is an amazing musical composer. Uh, but the plot of Us, this movie was about uh, the, the Wilson family. Uh, they're going back to the hometown or the vacation spot of the mother of the family who is played by Lupita Nyong'o. She plays Adeline Wilson. They're going back to that spot for the summer. They're supposed to meet up with, with uh, or they're just going back to that spot for like a little break, family vacation. They're supposed to meet up with some friends. Uh, this would be Elizabeth Moss and her family. Uh, when they get there, they encounter these doppelgangers that look exactly like them. Now, along the way, you're gonna find out where these doppelgangers came from. You're gonna find out what they actually all represent. Uh, you're gonna get a bunch of twists along the way. It'll make sense in the sense that it's there, but this movie is gonna require a lot more rewatches. I wanna say this is gonna be the hereditary of the year. Now that's gonna not sit well with a lot of people because I know there were a lot of people that were upset with hereditary because of the high score that they got but you have to remember that you cannot look at reviews and then set unrealistic expectations for these movies so just because a movie has a high score doesn't really mean that it's all that in a bag of chips it could still just be a good movie and that's it that's what i want to say this was uh i don't want to say it was overhyped i think it's sitting at the perfect rating that it is right now it's sitting at like a 95 I think that's a perfect rating for a movie like this. Uh, there's a lot of good, there's a lot of metaphors in the movie. Several things represent other things. Uh, lo lots of symbolism in the imagery and the things that are shown on screen. The acting in this movie, like I said before, everyone across the board stole the show. Lupita Nyong'o, however, she, she was like the standout uh, for me personally. I think for a lot of other people, she'll be the standout. The way she because these people are playing multiple characters they're not multiple they're playing they're playing themselves and they're also playing their doppelganger so the way lupita is highlighted in the film because she's like the central key piece of this uh story when we see her interacting with her 
double and the way she's performing and the things and the way she just makes each of them very different it's just a beautiful thing to watch on her behalf uh i think she did an amazing job she's gonna be i i want to say this will probably lead to her getting another oscar nomination because she's already won an academy award uh but i w i wouldn't be surprised if, the, if she gets overlooked because tony collette was overlooked for her performance in hereditary this movie from start to finish is just gonna be like a complete thrill ride lots of laughs lots of suspense lots of unexpected gore uh there's a set a couple montages with a few old-fashioned songs that a few people who watch this movie might enjoy uh cinematography is fine uh even the child actors they they held their own even though they didn't really do much they were just really they were doing facial expressions for a lot of it i felt uh everyone just did a very good job but again there's a few plot holes that interfere with the overall story uh the concept so it's the plot holes and the fact that not everything is going to be, going to be completely straightforward and i think jordan Peele did that on purpose to leave this up for interpretation on a scale of one to ten i'm going to give this a 7.5 out of 10 i am very pleased with this movie i think jordan Peele has a lot of potential and i think he has uh i think his Candyman movie is coming out next year so i want to see what he's going to do with that and then he also has his twilight series which is coming out uh next month at the very beginning of the month on april 1st his twilight series will be premiering on cbs all access but in regards to us this is a very very worthy follow-up to get out uh jordan peele did not outdo himself but he proved that you can avoid sophomore slump and while his penmanship was a bit all over the place because i feel i feel like what what happened was uh he didn't have it seemed like someone someone else wasn't there to look over this script they they just had a little bit too much trust in him because he did so well with get out because there's there's plot holes in this movie that are not going to sit well with a lot of people uh but the performances and everything else in the movie make up for it. the concept of the whole thing the uh the score the cinematography everything else about the movie is just so well done that some of the some of the piss poor penmanship will just be something you can overlook uh i'm going to give it a 7.5 out of 10 i'm very pleased with this movie i really loved us i want to see it again i do plan on seeing it again those are my thoughts on it if you have seen the movie let me know what you guys thought about down in the comment section below if you haven't already subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video in the description i have links to all my social media accounts so you can message me there so let me know what movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video